Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. New line of Down for Sound speakers. That's right. We're going to check out several different versions of six and a half inch speakers, starting off with the CTFX 65s. And yes, these are stock speaker replacements at the price of $50 a pair. Don't expect a whole lot here other than, hey, they'll sound better than stock. Uh, 120 to 180 watts RMS, 89 dB sensitivity, 4 ohm impedance, 2.5 inch mounting depth, and they do have a 0.78 inch tweeter. And just so you know, this is not a down for sound ad. I'm just going to go over these speakers, show you about them, tell you about them, and then you guys decide if they're right for you or not. Here's the box for the CFX 65s. As you can see, we open it up. The speakers here are in bags. There are no grills or anything additional that come with the speakers. These are designed to go in your factory location. You can see they look pretty nice. I like the, um, the overall look of the speaker. You can see the magnet on the back with the sticker, 89 dB sensitivity. And it's got the tweeter there on the front with a nice grill over it. it looks like butyl rubber surround and some kind of a glass fiber cone being replacement speakers these do not have cast baskets or anything like that they're stamped steel again they don't come with any hardware or anything like that they don't have fancy terminals again nothing unexpected here at the price of fifty dollars a pair look pretty good overall so let's get out the mono price bookshelf speakers that are actually six and a halfs also and let's take out the six and a half inch driver and see if these will fit in turns out they actually do and it's actually an exact fit so we were able to test out all of the different speakers I showed you at the beginning of the video inside of this enclosure, which helped out a lot. Again, this is just a temporary install here, so I didn't wire it up. I didn't solder it or anything, but I did get it wired in. And let's do a demo, see how they sound, the CFX T65s. <laughs> with some ice flow. Next speakers up in the line are the JFX 65s. Again, six and a half inch coaxial speakers. These are a little bit more than twice the price of the entry level. These are 120 bucks, which for many manufacturers, that is kind of an entry level price. Two and three quarter inch mounting depth, push terminals, hybrid honeycomb glass for the cone material, which is kind of unique. And you'll see it when we take it out of the box, what that looks like. But speaking of the box, Down for Sound always does a great job making their boxes look I don't know, display worthy. It's kind of funny because most people who buy this stuff probably throw their boxes away, but I really like to keep this stuff around. Here's additional specs. You can see the frequency range, also the 200 watts RMS, mounting depth and the cutout, all that stuff. And there you can see the speaker itself looks really nice. It does come with install hardware for screws for mounting the woofer and also some sticky material there for sticking things. The grill here, shown together, also separate. You do mount the mounting ring part to the back of the speaker and then mount the grill to the front. I will show that here in a little bit. 
But here you can see this hybrid cone material, which is some kind of a honeycomb glass. Looks really slick. Also, the butyl rubber surround is nice. For durability, those tend to last a lot longer than the foam surrounds. And of course, we have these cool push terminals. We have this cast aluminum basket and just really nice looking speaker here. Looks good, but does it sound good? We'll find that out in a minute. These push terminals here can accept around 12 gauge wire. I always like push terminals when you can use those. And here's the grill put onto the speaker just looks really slick. You can tell the engineering that went into these. Uh, looks really, really nice. Will look good in your install. Now these did also fit in the Monoprice cabinets. So we're going to be able to fire them up here. Let's listen to a few songs and see how they sound. Get on your headphones and here we go. We'll step up to the big dogs, the JFX 653S. These are three-way components. You can see here on the Down for Sound website, we're going to click here. These are currently going for $399.99. Again, there may be price changes between when you see this video and when they're actually available at a later date for purchase. But as the time of this video, $400, which for a three-way component system, <laughs> that's a pretty good deal. So let's uh, take a closer look here. Again, these speakers were all sent to me by Down for Sound so that I could look at them, so I could show them off, and I could demo them for you guys. So again, this is for you, not about me getting free speakers. I don't really care about free speakers. But here we go. Let's take out the six and a half inch driver you can see here. Oh, yes. This honeycomb hybrid glass cone looks really nice. The magnet structure looks nice. It does have the cast aluminum frame, also butyl rubber surround. Just, I mean, it just exudes high quality just by holding this and just by looking at it. Also, it's important, the former president of Oz Audio, Craig Smith, had something to do with these drivers as well. So that uh, go, goes a long way in my mind. Here's a three and a half inch, 50 watt RMS, 88 dB sensitive mid-range. It again has a cast basket, has a fat magnet on it. Does not have push terminals because they just would not fit on a driver this small, I believe. Same cone material, same butyl rubber surround. Then we have the tweeter here. It's a, I believe it's a one inch tweeter. It has a one inch mounting depth, 90 dB sensitive, five kilohertz to 20 kilohertz, 45 watts RMS. It does have a ring around it and it is aluminum encased so that you can mount it easily using this ring. Uh, so it looks pretty nice. So I have to see how it sounds. Then we have the passive crossovers. This is a three-way setup. So you have these air core inductors in here, uh, some high quality components, and it's a very nice looking, reminds me of the old MB Quart crossovers. You do have the plus three dB, zero dB, and minus three dB there for the tweeter, which literally means zero, minus three, and minus six, because there's no adding anything uh, with a passive crossover. Anyway, there's a setup, looks pretty nice. Now let's install these once again into the bookshelf speakers. And here, these are nice. I love having these push terminals. Makes it super easy to hook these up. So we've got the positive and negative. 
stay on there really tight. There you can see everything. We get it mounted into these bookshelf speakers. And again, all three of these six and a half inch are the same exact size, so they fit perfectly into this test box I was using. We'll get it wired up here using the three-way passive crossover. The one thing to note here is on the end, the tweeter positive and negative is reversed. So I had actually had it hooked up wrong there in that picture. Now let's do a demo, seeing here what we've got set up. Again, the four inch and the tweeter are free air. We do have the JP34AB amplifier. Let's get it powered up. Let's see how it all sounds together. Let's SQ it up the three ways here, down for sound with the JP34AB, Smoke Jacket Blues. There you have my overview and demo of these new Down for Sound 6.5 inch coaxial and three way speakers. Overall, I'd say if you need a super budget, you know, just basic replacement, the CFX are okay. But man, these next ones in line, these JFXs, they sound so much better to my ears. I don't know if it'll come across in the video, but I would step up to these at $120 a pair. I think they're really, really good value. Again, I don't care if you guys buy these things or not. I'm not here to sell you the speakers. I'm just telling you what, to, what I really think. And I do happen to like these and the three ways. They sound great as well. And uh, yeah, so if you guys like these and want to purchase them, look at links in the description. If you want to buy something else, do that. Thanks for watching. Big D, I'm out of here. The tweeters used in this three-way setup are aluminum hybrid domes. Now my favorite tweeter material typically is silk soft dome, but you can see here it actually looks like some form of soft dome even with the aluminum here in this picture. They definitely sound good, but it made me think, what is you guys' favorite tweeter material? Let me know in the comments below. Big D, I'm out.